algae. We studied that whole the total plant kingdom is divided or they are grouped or distinguished into two categories that is one is your cryptogams another is your phanerograms. What we studied? We studied that the total plant kingdom total plant kingdom total plant kingdom we studied it is grouped into two categories what are they they are cryptogams another is your phanerogams in cryptogams as a word is hidden here that is crypto have you ever heard about a term cryptocurrency just like that a hidden word is present here crypto crypto means hidden okay so here cryptogams means they have hidden they have hidden six organs and phanerogams means completely opposite that that means they have visible sex organs okay they have visible sex organs okay do you know students cryptogams they are otherwise called as the non flowering plants okay and completely opposite in phanerogams we see flowering plants flowering plants okay in cryptogams we generally study about three groups okay and what are they one is your algae another is your bryophyte and the next one is your pteridophyte pteridophyte in flowering plants we generally study about two groups they are your gymnosperm and gymnosperms let's do it plural form okay let's write it in plural form gymnosperms angiosperms okay clear clear students okay the whole total plant kingdom generally divided into two categories okay two groups they are cryptogams and your phanerogams in cryptogams we generally see hidden sex organs are present okay they have hidden sex organs and in phanerogams we see visible sex organs hidden sex organ visible sex organ okay you will not confuse here okay because there is a term or hidden term is here that is crypto crypto means you will recall crypto means cryptocurrency so crypto means hidden so hidden sex organ means cryptogams clear okay a cryptocurrency is your okay remembering term okay phanerogams visible sex organ cryptogams means hidden sex organ it means hidden sex organ means they do not flower okay so non flowering plants here flowering plants non flowering plants they have three groups present there that is algae bryophyte pteridophyte gymnosperm angiosperm okay and phanerogams is otherwise uh, they are also called as what your spermatophytes another term is also here that is spermatophyte they are otherwise called as spermatophytes because spermatophyte means what they are seed bearing plants sperm means seed here okay seed bearing plants phyte means plants okay phyte means plants phyte represents your plants okay phyta phyta the term okay greek term seed bearing plants okay so here we will study about the first group okay that is your algae what is algae we will sequentially study about their general features about their habitat respective habitat about their respective cell structure in uh, structure we will study the two types of structures internal structure as well as external structure as well as about their 
mode of nutrition and the variety of features if there any okay what we will study in algae we will study here in algae about their general features let's write in different plane general features we will study about their general features okay we will study about their habitat respective habitat okay we will study about their structure in structure we will study two types of structures one is their morphology uh, external structure another is your, uh, their cell studi studies okay cell counts and cell uh, completely elaboration okay cell structure in structure we will study two types of structure that is uh, their external structure external another is their internal okay uh, in structure we will generally study two types of structures generally external structure and another is internal structure external morphology there and their anatomy okay two types of structure we will study next we will study their nutrition nutrition last one we will study about their reproduction okay reproduction reproduction how do they increase their number okay reproduction so all these features okay all these their respective features we will study here sequentially okay about their general features habitat structure nutrition reproduction so first we will look into their general features what are algae okay why are they are called as algae okay algae clear algae okay you can see here these are the features general features of the algae algae look like this okay look like this okay emte dekha jao thiba algae jemti i was uh, giving you an uh, example whenever you are walking through a pond okay through nearby your pond sometimes you see a green canopy like structure uh, completely covered the pond those are not the herbs or the grasses you might be thinking they are generally sometimes they might be the unicellular organisms they have spread or they have uh, covered completely the pond okay they look completely green canopy like structure they are generally your algae they are not the herbs or shrubs you think or the grass like plants you think think okay they are generally the algae and uh, sometimes in your um, the varsa season re dekhu thibo जमी तो गोटे कू पाखे देख कि एरिया देख तुम ग्रीन एम टाइप रिउली टाइप रमी जाए दोज आर अल्सो आलजी ओके इन रेनी सीजन जेन रेनी सीजन कौन कौच बारंबार कारण रेनी सीजन तक फेवरेबल सीजन ओके रेनी सीजन इज देयर फेवरेबल सीजन तो से सीजन इजिली कौन हुए फुड तक मिल जाए से जो कंडीशन दरकार फर्स दे आर सर्भाइवल से कंडीशन तक मिल जाए सो रेनी सीजन इज कम्प्लीटली फेवरेबल फर द आलजी और एक्वेटिक प्लांट्स ओके जो मैंने ग्रो करती स्वांपी एरिया और पा से नीड कै तो से जनरली एक्वेटिक प्लांट्स तो आलजी रेनी सीजन तुम फेवरेबल सीजन तो रेनी सीजन तुम देख कि तुम जो पचेरी थाए है से पचेरी देख तुम छोट छोट मन कर तुम पचेरी रही है तो पचेरी देख पूरा ये तो तुमको बड़ आलजी देखा जाए टे बट पूरा छोट छोट देख एम ग्रीन स्ट्रक्चर पूरा कवर कर कवर कर तुम तार कौन तुम रुट स्टेम लिप्स गुड़ा सब आईडेटाई कर पार कि ओके तो से भी हेल्ले कौन तुम आलजी से भी कौट को बिलंग कर दे आर अल्सो योर आलजी क्लीयर सो लेट्स सी इच एंड एव्री फिचर अफ दे आर ओके क्यारेक्टरीस्टिक्स अफ आलजी और द जेनेल फिचर्स कौन दे आर generally simple simple organisms okay lower organisms simple organisms okay it is complex no tank structure simple generally they are unicellular single cell so simple organisms unicellular sometimes they are also multicellular simple organisms okay simple se manakara structure dekhi batankara bahut simple okay thalloid थालोइड वर्ड टा कहीं यूज है व्हाई अ थालोइड व्हाई अ थालोइड टर्म इज यूज्ड हियर थालोइड मींस दे हैव थालोस लाइक स्ट्रक्चर थालोस लाइक स्ट्रक्चर 
So, what is thallus like structure? Thallus like structure, have you ever seen a plant? Okay. If I will tell you to, uh, to list, uh, let recall a plant or imagine a plant, when you are imagining a plant, then you plant ra each and every feature imagine kari paru chokhi plant manne mo gada kaon bane, jatala me chwada ko ki plant bana, wada plant ra drawing kar, se kaon bana, emdi plant wada bana hai. Emdi wada plant bane la, tara. When, whenever we are imagining a plant, okay. We can easily imagine their each and every structures. So, what a plant kuch tola me bhabu chu. Whenever you are uh, imagining a plant, we can easily imagine their structures. For example, your leaves, their stems, their flowers, their roots. So, uh, we can easily uh, recognize a plant's each and every structures. But whenever you are considering a algae, algae, okay, you cannot distinguish that what is their root, what is their stem, what is their leaf or uh, do they have flowers or not, you want to be able to recognize, okay. You want be able to recognize or distinguish in their root, stems and leaves. That is why they have a structure called a thallus like structure, okay. Jum tamhe fungi dekhu cha, fungi re kaan hoji, in fungi what happens there? In fungi generally a group of hypha, generally go the long slender like stuck thai, go structure thai, jodha ko hume hypha ko and those hypha uh, forms a network, forms or combines or forms a network like structure and those are called mycelium. Same the algae bhi kaun hue, na chodho 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 sabo structure missi ki, na so, samane completely go to thallus like structure tiyari karan thi, but in thallus like structure, we won't be able to recognize or we won't be able to distinguish about they are leaves, stems or roots, that is why they are called as the thallus like plants or they are uh, called as thallophytes, thallo means thallus and phyte means plants as you know or they have thalloid like structure or thallus like structure, ok clear. Th so, thallus means what? Roots, stems, leaves won't be able to, we won't be able to distinguish, cannot be distinguished, cannot be differentiated or distinguished, ok. So, Thangkara, roots, stems, leaves we won't be able to identify, we won't be able to recognize or distinguish, that is that's why they have a thallus like structure or thalloid structure, clear. Another term is present, another uh, term is here autotropic. Autotropic I have told you many times what is autotropic, I have discussed you many times what is autotropic, autotropic means what? Those nutrition, those type of nutrition where they do not depend upon other organisms for their survival, they can synthesize or they can prepare or they can make their own food, ok, without the help of any organisms with the presence of sunlight acquiring the sunlight as well as acquiring the two inorganic substances from the inorganic substance the prepare organic substance with the help of your sunlight ok. So, they are autotropic organisms it means auto means what self 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 they can self prepare their food. So, that is why they are called autotropic organisms or autotrophs. clear ok uh, and why they are autotrophs ok why they can synthesize their own food because they have a specific organelle within their cell that is chloroplast and chloropla chloroplast that is a structure ok around co colored structure ok green colored structure is called a pigment ok which can capture sunlight that is your chlorophyll chlorophyll. So, because of the chlorophyll or substance or, or a magic substance which has the potential to capture the sunlight that is why they are called autotropic. It means they can synthesize their own food, they are not depend upon others ok. Largely aquatic, largely aquatic, it represents about their habitat, it means where they are found ok, generally they are aquatic, but in some unusual places they can also be found ok. Generally the algae 
okay, the group of algae, they are generally found in aquatic organisms or water habitat, but sometimes in unusual habitats rather than these water habitats, they are also found. In, on, in some unusual habitats, they can also be seen, clearly seen. Okay. So, these are the general features of the algae. So, uh, when someone will ask you about algae, what are their general features? You will say there that algae are aquatic organisms. Generally, algae are simple chlorophyll bearing thalloid structures. Algae are generally aquatic organisms. Okay. Algae are largely aquatic. Okay. Clear? And if you will, they will ask about you that what is thallus, you will say that, that they are root stems, leaves, we cannot easily distinguish or identify them. That is why they have thallus like structure. Okay. As they have chlorophyll, so they can capture sunlight. So, that is why they are autotropic organisms. Their cell structure is very simple. Okay. Clear? Now, look into about their, now let us look into about their habitat. Okay. Let us look into their habitat. So, I will see how they are going Chalo, tanko habitat dekhiwa, clear. Okay. In, ge in the general feature, we studied that they specifically, generally their usual habitats are water habitat. Okay. Generally, they are aquatic organisms. But their habitat can also be a broad. Okay. The habitat ta dekhiwa, tamhe bohut broad area dekha jiwa. Okay. Generally, tanko tamhe habitat padu. Habitat dekhu general tanko ra. Habitat. Ye jo algae ro tamhe habitat dekhu jo na. सेथरो भी तमरो बहुत सारा क्वेश्चन और एमसीक्यूज आसी जाय पर एग्जाम रे हला जो आलजी रो तमे हैबिटेट देखु छ ना ओके हैबिटेट हैबिटेट माने सन जोड़े देखा जानते सो दैट इज आल्सो ए व्हाट मतलब क्वेश्चन आसी जाय पर दा भीतर तमरो हला दैट इज आल्सो ए बिग टॉपिक इन हैबिटेट ऑफ ए आलजी वी जनरली स्टडी दैट दे आर स्टडीड इन स्पेसिफिकली टू हैबिटेट्स वन इज यूजुअल हैबिटेट एंड अनदर इज अनयूजुअल हैबिटेट यूजुअल अनयूजुअल यूजुअल Unusual. Usual मने कौन? जोड़ी से generally देखा जाओ थी वो. Usual means what? Where they are generally found. That is your aquatic habitat. Aquatic habitat. Aquatic तो तंगरो generally aquatic. So this aquatic system can also be divided into two types of you no. Know? This aquatic system. Let's discuss about the habitat of the algae. Okay, clear habitat. habitat of the algae okay so algae can be seen in usual in their usual as well as in their unusual habitat so algae can be seen usual as well as in their unusual habitat so in usual habitat which is aquatic which is aquatic in usual habitat which is aquatic but, but this aquatic ha habitat we can also be see that there are also variety of aquatic habitats aquatic uh, not means only one type of water there is also fresh water that is marine water so aquatic habitat can also be divided into two types your fresh water fresh water marine habitat marine habitat fresh water marine habitat okay marine habitat means generally salt water with dekha jante generally they can also be seen in salt water or marine habitats also in fresh water in marine habitat ab bele bele e jo fresh water aur pani jodi jaye ki misse okay there also they can be seen in estuaries okay in estuaries Estuary is Kojaga, Joti, fresh water combined with combined with marine water. There also algae can be found. Okay. So, algae generally found in two habitats your usual habitat, unusual habitat, and in uh, usual habitat, generally in their aquatic habitat, we can also see that there is also fresh water habitat as well as marine, marine water habitat 
okay marine uh, water habitat is generally higher organisms or higher algae are seen in marine habitat generally higher algae are found generally the members of the generally the members of the generally the members of the members of the rhodophyci or red algae and pheophyci or brown algae generally the members of the rhodophyci example got in asia polysiphonia it is one type of algae students it is one type of algae polysiphonia is one type of algae that is a red algae okay it is one type of red algae though i have mentioned in green green color but it is one type of red algae okay another uh, members of algae are also seen in marine habitat that is pheophyci pheophyci members of pheophyci members of pheophyci 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 means brown algae okay brown algae it means brown algae so uh, some examples of brown algae okay your okay let's take brown color example fucus sargassum okay and the massive type of uh, you might be thinking that algae are generally multicellular organisms but sometimes unicellular algae is also present and sometimes uh, within the marine uh, habitat you see a uh, long algae are also present mane algae sadi ette uh, habit ette speedily grow karanti karan aquatic habitat se manankara favorite habitat favorable habitat tankara to se sadi bahut ekdam emiti grow karan se man gote massive structure bhi he janti for example tumara algae dekhiwa gote gote bahut bado se mane for example your kelps kelps to se mane pura dekhiwa tankara kelps ro pura jungle dekhiwa ko milibo tumko sadi marine habitat re okay so in fresh water habitat if you will consider about fresh water habitat fresh water habitat can also be two types one is your flowing and another is your stagnant one is your flowing one is your flowing flowing another is your stagnant stagnant flowing coda flowing uh, water habit flowing fresh water habitat are what okay those are rivers for example your rivers rivers and stagnant pond po pond water is stagnant still still okay so fresh water can also be two types you know one is your flowing flowing water and water flowing water uh, just example your river water that is flowing stagnant uh, your pond water is stagnant it means it's still okay तो फ्रेश वाटर भी देख जो ऑर्गेनिजम्स देखा जाती तो से फ्रेश वाटर भी देख गोटे गोटे तुम पंड रे गोटे गोटे टाइप रगानिजम्स देखा जाती गोटे गोटे तुम जो फ्लोईंग वाटर देखु फ्लोईंग रिभर भी वन टाइप अफ अर्गानिजम देखा जाती कहीं दुईटार डिस्टिंग टाइप कहली कहीं से ही अनुजाई कि स्ट्रक्चरटा मोडिफाए हो जाए था देख पे जो स्टेग्नाट व्टर देखा जाए है क्लीयर स्टेग्नाट व्टर देखा जाए तो से मिस्टम जो सेल स्ट्रक्चर देखिए मतलब मोडिफाए न था सो मोडिफाई वार्डा मुझे कहूँ कहीं गोटे गोटे आलजी तुम देख से जमी जा गोटे जगह सब्सट्राट्रम आटाच होकर रही पारे गोटे जगह सब्सट्राट्रम जमी आटाच होकर रही पारे फर देयर आटाचमेंट अ मोडिफिकेसन इज प्रेजेंट इन देयर बडिज दैट इज होल्ड फास्ट होल्ड फास्ट ये होल्ड फास्ट वार्ड पर कहली है जो दुटा को डिस्टिंग आई डिस्टिंग the fresh water into two categories just to define a term that is your hold fast okay in some algae you will see hold fast but in some algae you will not see hold fast because they do not have a need of the hold fast in flowing water as the river is flowing always that's why they need a attachment so that they won't be flow okay jem this one flow kar jai paribeni to sethi pai se manan kar attachment tha and that attachment is called hold fast attachment एग्जाम्पल एग्जाम्पल गोटे एग्जाम्पल ओडोगोनियम ओडोगोनियम इट इज वन टाइप ऑफ योर फ्लोइंग वाटर एलजी, ओके ओडोगोनियम स्टैग्नेंट एग्जाम्पल योर क्लामाइडोमोनास 
ओके and uh, uh, generally where they can be seen is they are usual habitat and another is some unusual habitat in usual habitat or in aquatic habitat of their aquatic habitat we saw that this aquatic habitat can also be divided into two categories one is your freshwater habitat and another is your marine habitat in marine habitat we generally see the higher algae higher group of algae uh, generally the members of the Rhodophyci, for example, take uh, take an example that is Polysiphonia and the members of the Phyophyci or brown algae. For example, is your Fucus, Sargassum. In fresh water, uh, we can see the fresh water sometimes be flowing, and another they can sometimes be stagnant or still. So, in flowing rivers, we see their structures. There are some structures is modified. Okay, so that they can attach in some surface. Example, your Oedogonium. Okay, they have the hold fast or attachment structure. In pond water, they do not have attachment because they do not need. The pond water is completely still, so they uh, do not have a need of a hold fast. So uh, here, uh, an example is Chlamydomonas spirogyra. Clear? And about their unusual habitat. Okay, for example, uh, in your Unusual habitat, for example, in sloth beer, sloth beer, got a animal achi, slowest animal, the bele bele ta upar bhi algae grow kar jaanti. So, in sloth beer re bhi algae dekha jai uh, and uh, in which places algae, in which unusual places algae can be see in an association with lichen. <coughs> lichen okay so we generally saw that algae are aquatic okay aquatic means they are they are seen in aquatic habitat but sometimes algae are also seen in land uh, in an association that is a lichen lichen good type of association a mutual association or a symbiotic association where two where two group of organisms are coming together one is algae another is fungi and they both are mutually benefited where algae provide uh, the food to the fungi and uh, uh, in uh, return of that fungi provide the water and the minerals to the algae so in uh, that association in land algae is also seen algae generally is an aquatic habitat dekha janti but jetabale samane bhabile ki ame land ko jai ki grow kariba to samane ko गोटे हेल्प दरकार पड़ला कहार ना फंजी दरकार पड़ला क्लियर तो लैंड रे भी देखा जानती एंड समटाइम्स इन देखुथि वो पत्थर रे भी मॉइस्ट एरिया रे भी माने ग्रो कर जानती पाचेरी रे भी माने ग्रो कर जानती आउ देखुथि वो तमे माने स्लॉथ बियर गोटे एनिमल ता ऊपर भी ग्रो कर जाय छंदी एंड समटाइम्स एल्जी कैन आल्सो बी सीन एज पैरासाइट रेड रस्ट ऑफ़ रेड रस्ट ऑफ़ टी समटाइम्स एलजी कैन ऑल्सो बी सीन एज पैरासाइट ओके अपन सम प्लांट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल योर रेड रस्ट ऑफ़ टी इट इज अ अलगाल डिजीज ओके अलगाल डिजीज क्लियर सो दीज आर द कंप्लीट हैबिटेट ऑफ द एलजी एलजी को को हैबिटेट रे देखा जानती ओके तांको भीतर कौन कौन मोडिफिकेशन है था पर्टिकुलर हैबिटेट रे सस्टेन करबा पई पर्टिकुलर हैबिटेट रे सर्वाइव करबा पई ओके ता सहित तो एक्सेप्ट देयर ऑन यूजुअल हैबिटेट व्हेयर दे आर सी दे आर सीन इन द अनयूजुअल हैबिटेट ओके सो दीस आर द कंप्लीट स्टडी अबाउट देयर हैबिटेट फीचर लेट्स सी अबाउट देयर 
cell structure. Let us see about the structure and the structure I uh, told you about that structure can also be two types that is external and internal. So, okay, clear? So, these are the habitat of, habitat of the algae. So, algae can also be seen on the moist soil, on wood and in the soil. Some of them also occur in association with algae as I was telling you before that some of them also occur in association with fungi, okay. Just example in lichen and um, regardless that they can also be grown upon certain animals. For example, in the sloth pure, what is the slowest animal set of tadribi semane grow kari janti, algae grow kari janti tadribi, okay. Hai. ये हो जी स्लाथ बियर ओके यहाँ तर देखो किम्ती ग्रीन कलर किम्ती तर देखा जाओ जी देखा फॉर किम्ती ग्रीन कलर देखा जाओ जी स्लाथ बियर स्लाथ बियर किम्ती ग्रो कर जाए जी तर तर देखो ताकू कोटे बढ़िया कौन कर जी ना जब मती कैमोफ्लेस देखू थी वो टाइगर देखी ना जब मती बड़ा लुच्ची की रोहिजा है जाना पड सेमती एल्जी ग्रो कर जिबा द्वारा ताकू बिटी के बेनिफिट होची से गच्छो भीतर लुची की रही जाउची जा द्वारा ताकू गोडे बेनिफिट हला ताकू प्रे इजीली जाई की मन ताकू ता काहरो प्रे हबनी ताकू इजीली प्रेडेटर कैप्चर करि परिवनी इट इज आल्सो हेल्पिंग देम द एल्जी इज आल्सो हेल्पिंग देम टू गिव देम अ कैमोफ्लेज ओके इन द लुची जाई परिवे कैमोफ्लेज एटी बढे गोडे कैमोफ्लेज होची कैमोफ्लेज इज होची and this association is called a symbiotic association which is lichen, which is lichen where, to, where, uh, lichen, where two group of organisms are coming to, together one is your algae and another is your fungi and both the organisms are helping each other mutually, they are mutually benefited, they help each other, algae give the food to the, algae gives the food to the fungi and in return fungi provide the water and minerals to the algae. Clear? 